Good morning. It's Tuesday, November 7th, 2023. My name is Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, Spiritual Warfare, and our scripture is Paul's letter to the Ephesian Church, chapter 6, where the apostle writes, A final word, be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Put on all of God's armor so that you will be able to stand firm against all strategies of the devil. For we are not fighting against flesh and blood enemies, but against evil rulers and authorities of the unseen world, against mighty powers in this dark world, and against evil spirits in the heavenly places. A friend shared in our Bible study group about being prepared for spiritual warfare. Her story was about how her granddaughter, Sophie, age 13, was being spiritually attacked at school. A classmate of Sophie's who had recently arrived in this country decided Sophie was something of a threat to her popularity and began a campaign to pull her down with public remarks that were unkind and false. This was compounded by texts to many of Sophie's classmates which were harsh enough to be classified as evil. Sophie acted with a spiritual maturity that's normally absent in one so young. Still, she was devastated by the attack, not understanding how the other girl could be so mean. She attempted to reason with the other girl and her peers, but was ridiculed even more. Finally, it was brought to the school's administrator, and the counselor began the process of mediating. The connection with spiritual warfare and being a servant of God is the godly advice my friend gave to her teenage granddaughter. She reminded Sophie that, as followers of Jesus, their responsibility towards this other girl was to love like Jesus loved. That girl had overcome much in her long journey to be in their community and was in an unfamiliar culture. Now it's natural to want to protect what connection with solid ground you may have when you feel threatened or unprepared for what may come. So she advised Sophie to remember that God may have great things in store for that one who was treating her badly. And this was Sophie's opportunity to cooperate with God's will in showing kindness in the face of the other girl's abuse. Sophie could turn out to be the key to changing that girl's whole life and the lives of thousands she may touch in the future. What godly advice from Grandma! This is the meaning of caring for your little ones, teaching them how to navigate the evil waters of spiritual warfare by putting on the full armor of God, which in this case especially required the forbearance of a stranger's attack. For you today, you may be a parent, grandparent, or even a great-grandparent. Following my friend's example of choosing to be kind, forbearing anger and retaliation in favor of being spiritually mature and loving as Jesus loved, well, it's just not that easy. But it is the fruit of being a prayer warrior, prepared to do battle with the spirit of this age. It's what followers of Jesus do when their feet hit the rocky road each day. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.